I can't even talk. It's all right. Yeah, you know, you're you, missing a buddy too. I am. I am. You know, so yeah. it's sad. You know, Brandon didn't want to have fun with us, so yeah. it's his loss. But we're here at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival in Bardstown, and somehow this is the only place, even though we're both in Lexington, that we seem yeah. to talk. Yeah. And we've got questions for Dave Bob, national brand manager, R and D uh, developer, blender, blender. Yeah. For Lexington Brewing and Distilling Co. Town Branch Bourbon. It's a mouthful. It is. You got a lot of the titles here. It's a lot going on. And just a certified badass. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I am certified. <laughs> so you guys here this weekend debuted a whole brand new yep. thing. What do you have for us? Uh, so we are debuting before we announce and put out the press release. It's our four barrel blend. We call it Overproof. Uh, it's a blend of our bourbon, our rye, our bourbon finishing rye and our weeded bourbon that nobody knew we had. So it's kind of a wink to our neighbors and to all of our fans that get ready to, for some more weeded releases uh, in the future. That's a good way to tease something. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I love that. And so the name Overproof, where did that come from and why did you settle on that? Really, it came from the bartenders and, and cocktail making, you know, because for us, uh, our owner, Mark Lyons, who's a master brewer, master distiller, PhD in yeast fermentation. Uh, we love the bar side. We wanted to make a bourbon for the bar side. Everybody knows our iconic Town Branch bourbon at 90 proof. Uh, amazing bourbon, great to have on the shelf. Not so easy to pour at times. So this we really made for the bartender and the bartender at home. We wanted to do something that was higher proof for those classic cocktails or just to drink it at neat. Uh, and we wanted to do something creative uh, that we've never blended before. So we were really, we had this concept and idea last year and we were waiting for two more barrel selections to mature up a little bit longer. And finally they were ready. And that was waiting for the weeded bourbon to age and mature a little bit more to the notes that we wanted. And that uh, bourbon aging in rye, which was two year finish. You want to try it? Yeah, let's try it. Let's do it. Now, what I love, too, is, like you said, the bottle has changed a little bit. Yeah. And it's a classy bottle. Nice label. Even the label's different as yeah. well. So why would you settle on a kind of, obviously, I know a different bottle, you know, label's going to look a little different, but why kind of change it up a little? Well, we wanted this to stand out uh, from the iconic square because... Even our single barrels to our special releases are still in that iconic square bottle. And, and when you're looking at that bottle, that was co-designed by Pierce's wife, who has her PhD in the arts, uh, with a French glass company. And all these bottles are still made in France and imported over. Um, but we wanted something that would still be recognizable. But to let everybody know, this is completely different. It's yeah. not going to be like the true cast. It won't be like the 90 proof bourbon it's definitely not a rye it's definitely not a single malt yeah we want it to stand on its own and then again have it have a place at the bar i like it i yeah. like it All cheers right. cheers let's get into it and the smells fantastic really rich spicy floral sweet notes to it some mature oak You know, people could be nervous having four different whiskeys coming together, but yeah. it blend. You you did a good job on that blend. How long did it take to come up with the kind of the correct blend? Because you know, obviously, there's it's not just you hope first try, but obviously, it takes a little while on the R and D side. Let's say with the with the micro blendings with the barrels that we had available. You know, we're talking like a few weeks doing that uh, in various ways and like. 100 mil variations but really dialing down to okay we don't need that much wheat uh any more than 10 percent within our blend it came out too much same thing we're already putting a rye in and then a bourbon finishing rye and the bourbon finished rye is my favorite barrel that we have right now yeah i mean we need to do something with that just on its own because i'd like to do that just as like a single barrel selection yeah. or something um so so we knew 100 percent we were going to use majority just our bourbon um and just the the small touch of those three other barrels were perfect to create this and with the bourbon itself this is a 33 barrel blend 33 barrels that i handpicked so really 30 barrels of the bourbon 
age range anywhere from six years to seven and a half years. And it's a fantastic blend. And I think my favorite thing too, it's a, it's a good drink. $40, is that right? Yep, $40. I mean... Drink the art. I mean, that is fantastic. Yeah. Like, this is a good pour, good value. Yep. I think you're going to be impressed with this, folks, because yep. this is... This is damn tasty. It's a roller coaster. And it's great to sip on me. It drinks like a higher proof. But we're known for being subtle and smooth. Yeah. You know, within our rick house, our barrels are resting quite low. So they do need a lot longer to mature than some of our other neighbors around yeah. Kentucky. Um, and, and, you know, we're happy to be able to re release. Like our single barrel selection here at KBF is seven and a half years old. You know? Now, what you're doing here, can't wait to see uh, what other things you have in the lab, because uh, this is good. We got one more coming up in about a month. Oh, I start doing the full blend in two weeks. And then are you working on blend uh, number, or batch number two of the overproof? For yeah, I mean, with uh, with pre-sales coming in, I'll probably have to blend this in six weeks. And that'll be the big challenge. As happy as I am with this, and I love that everybody's loving it, it's amazing. I'm also, you know, you have you to recreate nerves. it. <laughs> you know, it's like I got to recreate it, and I'm gonna have to do it at a large batch. Yeah. Uh, but we can hit it. We we have all the barrels we need for it. So um, the the most important thing in making this was letting it rest. You know, we have within uh, one of our stabilizing tanks, we have a cascade fountain system. So we're able to roll it and cascade it like a sprinkler, right. and we'll do that for about 12 hours minimum. Uh, and then we'll roll it over to the proofing, uh, let it rest for about a week, proof it down, let it rest for another week, roll it over to bottling, let it rest for another week. So this is like a month process to make this. So something like this, and I told our team in, in production, we can't rush this. Yeah. Uh, we got to have a lead time on it. Um, we need the tank space. So uh, we'll continue to make this uh, slow and nice. Hey, you're doing yeah. great. And thanks for sharing with me. Yeah. Folks, if you can, get your hands on them when it's out. You will Overproof, greatly enjoy y'all.